Watch this. Watch this. Hey, watch this. Oh, that's my boy. That's my boy right there. Oh, look at all the damage, baby. Look at all the damage. Oh, that's my dude. We are back in war in order and I made a little bit of progress here on the account since last time you could see that we've got a bit more power 72,000 I'm also castle level 11 at this point we did get the altar which is how we're going to get our hands on some different artifacts here in the game currently this is the only artifact that I have and I haven't invested in this at all whatsoever because I have no idea if this is actually good or not so I figured I would start today's video by doing a couple of conjurings here we have a free conjure let's just go ahead and do it and boom we have a draconite fragment that doesn't seem like it's too impactful here but we also can do 10 mystic conjurings and this looks like this is how you're going to get your hands on some of the legendary artifacts but we should probably do the normal conjures first so let's go ahead and give that a try and i'm going to be honest guys whoever picked the characters for these two i feel like the the normal conjure is a bit more uh enticing if i'm going to be honest with you guys i mean just like like hey like let's just be real okay let's just call it how it is i think this is a more like which of these is your average dude going to click on okay people who watch my channel they're between 25 and 35 years old it's probably going to be the normal conjure okay so let's go ahead and do a quick conjure here it's going to cost 10 silver coins and boom we get a little bit of artifact xp okay so that might be good if we get something a little bit better that is legendary perhaps fingers crossed let's go ahead and conjure again and what do we get we get book of thoth fragment okay let's go ahead and conjure again and we get more artifact experience and more artifact experience we get even more artifact experience and we have boots of speed fragment okay that's probably some march speed stuff okay joy use fragment that looks like a uh, an epic sword a purple sword nice we have one fragment so far and our last silver coin summon and we got a little bit more experience so we do have enough coins for 10 mystic conjures now i've only done one before because the tutorial made me do it but we're gonna go ahead and do a 10 conjure and oh 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 we do get some legendary fragments here but no complete legendary stuff here i don't even know if it's possible apollo's bow that sounds sick i probably want that huh okay so we've got tons of fragments of more artifacts but no actual artifacts so all right that's that's gonna do it for that as far as lord skills go we've made a little bit more progress into development here which i think is most important we've maxed out the research time the first one at least which is very good and i'm thinking later in the video we might might actually go ahead and start just attacking some players we might just go rogue just to spice some things up I feel like the Alliance has been a little bit quiet lately I think we should stir up the pot a little bit get some excitement going on in the Alliance okay but guys of course this video is sponsored by war and order so if you want to support the channel for free go ahead and click down below there's gonna be a link in the description to download the game it's absolutely free I'm currently playing in realm 1712 if you guys were curious so come over here give the game a try generous sponsors like war and order are what help me continue to do what I do here on the channel and when was the last time you saw a dragon a rise of kingdoms let's just keep it real let's just keep it 100 when was the last time you saw a flaming cerberus a night guard in rise of kingdoms let's be real some of the monsters in this game are absolutely sick the sound effects and art style in this game i think are very classic they're timeless and beautiful so give the image right it's free why not all right now before we go ahead and start attacking other players i do want to see if we can do level 10 savior of order here uh i did fight a pretty sweet boss on level eight and eventually i was able to get my flame firebird i upgraded it from a a, a sort of a blue tier like you see how lightning chain and alchemy cannon they're a blue tier like an elite level um and now it is upgraded to an epic level it's a purple upgrade and basically what that did is it ignites the ground now so anywhere that the firebird shoots on the ground it causes even more fire and also he looks sick so um let's see if we can uh beat this stage here you see how the ground lit on fire there um it just it's it's actually insane it's super good i think i'm gonna go with gale sword gale sword i find is actually quite good in the early level like early part of the stage but as you start to get into like the golem start attacking you and stuff like that um that's when it starts to become a little bit like weaker i would say because it's just not dealing as much damage as some of the other upgrades but in the early part of the level you could see that um i basically just one shot these skeletons also the bats they just get instant one shot i'm dealing look a thousand damage for the crits it feels incredible um so that's why i think in the, in the early parts it's actually quite good but i'm gonna be honest guys like this style of gameplay i actually love this like if you like anything sort of like like vampire survivors and stuff like that halls of torment like you should try this game absolutely i'm gonna upgrade gale sword because again i think early on it's gonna be good later on we'll do something else but we might as well get the most value out of it that we can early on um and we are just absolutely just dominating here i think i've taken a little bit of damage but as you can see like this dude over here oh man that actually looks like stitches from uh world of warcraft i've been playing some world of warcraft lately too 
But um, yeah, I love dude. The art style of this game is so good. So yeah. So once you start to get more of those tanky dudes coming in here, I mean, I guess, I mean, I did kind of like, oh, I do still one shot him. Okay. I thought he was tanky. Maybe I'm just a true, maybe I am truly just a giga Chad. Like maybe I'm just honestly God tier and I'm just going to one shot them anyway. That could possibly be what's going down. Um, what do we got here? Let's do ground splitting sword. I don't love the ice one because it's a bit slow, so it's hard to plan, you know? Um, this dude is is a bit quick. He's a bit of a fast boy. If you could just chill out here for a second, pal, that'd be great. Could you just could you just not? Okay, sir. Sir, calm down. Calm down. We'll get the manager. Just will you chill out? Okay, there we go. Uh, we killed stitches once again. And oh, we get Flame Bird, of course. Flame Bird level four. Look at him. He's like a literal Apache helicopter over here. He's literally like a Harrier. He's a chopper gunner. He's just bop, 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 bop. There's not like, what are they, they going to do? You know what I mean? Look at, look at all these bats, too. I'm just like, oh my God. I feel like I'm doing like an explosive wave, like, uh, like, like, like Vegeta when he sacrifices himself to kill the enemies. Like, I feel like that's, that's what I'm doing, except I'm surviving. Oh, we're maxing out Firebird. Oh my God. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. He's an AC 130. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. So now we're getting more of these stitches looking dudes. Honestly, he doesn't, his face doesn't look like stitches. Oh, what? I didn't mean to pause it. My bad. Oh, okay. There we go. All right. We're back. Sorry. I didn't mean to pause it. Um, anyway, look at the stage design. We're in some sort of like creepy, like, I guess like a cemetery or something. Like, honestly, I don't know why other games, other city builders, like city builder games should have more like events like this. You know what I mean? Like, and again, I'm comparing this to Rise of Kingdoms because that's what I play a lot on the channel. Um, but, oh, dude, check this out. Watch it. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Hey, watch this. Oh, that's my boy. That's my boy right there. Oh, look at all the damage, baby. Look at all the damage. Oh, that's my dude. And we got a treasure chest because of it. Oh my God. Oh, we're popping off. Anyway, what I was saying before is like, why don't more city builder games like Rise of Kingdoms have events like this? where the gameplay is just completely different than the rest of the game, but it's it's a change in pace. It's something fun. It's unique. It's exciting. I love Chain Lightning. Or sorry, Lightning Chain. My bad. Chain Lightning, I think, is in uh, is in Warcraft 3 or possibly World of Warcraft, but uh, Lightning Chain is, is obviously a very different ability from this game. So yeah, um, I don't know. I think more games should, should do gameplay like this. I love these sort of uh, roguelike sort of missions. I think it's incredible. I think it adds a lot of replayability. It it makes things, it changes things up a bit. You know what I mean? Um, and I, I just really ap can appreciate that. And I don't even know if the game, like when this game first came out, it's eight years old. It, when the game first came out, did it have this game mode? I doubt it. I feel like they've probably, you know, kind of innovated over time and added game modes like this, which I really can appreciate. So let's see, uh, Dragonflies quickly increasing damage as well. So we're going to max that out. Might as well. Oh, give me that. Yep. Hey, give me that. I love when I get those, uh, those magnets that helps me out a ton here. Um, you can see we're already at 75% of the stage complete. I wonder if there's going to be a big old boss boy at the very end. I wonder, cause stage eight had a really cool boss. Um, I did that while I was laying in bed earlier and honestly, I probably should have been recording it, but I didn't expect it. And it was sick. Uh, and I'm sure we'll see another one here soon. So maybe not this level, but maybe another one soon. Either way, we are popping off boys. I don't think there's any chance we die here. Like, yes, we've taken a little bit of damage, but realistically, I think we're big chilling boys. I think we're big chilling. I mean, we have chain like a lightning chain. Sorry, lightning chain. We got the dragon. We got our maxed out Phoenix. Like, I think we're, we're balling out of absolute control. There's nothing like, what are they going to do? You know what I mean? What are they going to do? One of the cool things, a little tip for you guys. I usually like to run along the line of the dragon fire. That way more things kind of like as they approach me they walk into the fire obviously there's no friendly fire right so i don't get hurt by the dragon but everyone that walks towards me will um so that's a little little tip for you guys if you ever get the dragon try to try to funnel all the enemies into that dragon fight but there we go got the w baby i think uh i think the the red ones probably have the boss levels if i'm not mistaken so it looks like level 14 is the next time that there is a boss level so that's unfortunate but i'm sure we'll get there soon all right we have to start upgrading the watchtower to level seven it's already level six so let's go ahead and do that we'll ask the alliance for help and then we'll claim some of this free speed ups we love that lots of free things in the game which is very good especially in the early game and we need to activate one more technology in the uh college so what is a piece of tech that we don't have yet 
let's go with this one just so that way we can upgrade it uh real quick there's that and then we should be good that should be eight yes it is all right we're done with this level oh we made lots of progress on chapter 21 already slay a level seven monster no problem big boy let's go boom boom we find level seven and look at this dude look at this dude hey look at this big old ogre armed ogre level seven I, I just feel like the this reminds me of like an old school like like a pc mmorpg the style here is amazing i love it maybe it's just because i'm a boomer maybe it's because i'm old i'm 29 okay but i love this art style and i wish that we had you know monsters like this and other similar games i just i feel like we we don't have like oh my god look at this bro look at this dude orc shaman let's go like this is tickling my inner fantasy of uh world of warcraft let's look at this dragon you up for some barbecue yo i love barbecue we got red dragon level 21 oh my god dude yeah they would destroy me if i tried to attack these dragons right now so we're not gonna do that all right here's my army attacking the uh armed ogre and as you can see um there really is no contest I mean my army is absolute giga Chad and you can see my, I got my dragon in the back here I just have the tactical advantage I mean look at how many units I had I mean like there's no what is he gonna do you know what I mean what is he gonna do all right let's claim these little quests over here and this is gonna help us produce more stone and I found that stone is definitely a bit more rare than you know food and wood so producing more stone is going to be super important for our progression here so two birds one stone with that one no pun intended and bada bing bada boom we get gems every time we, we complete one of these chapters so like they just give you a ton of gems at the early game it's kind of crazy let's start to upgrade hospital level to level eight so boom oh we need our farm to level eight all right what's our queues are full oh yeah let's finish that watchtower actually we'll finish that off that'll be good boom and then we'll do the farm next that'll be 20 minutes we might come back and speed that up real quick we'll see what is the other quest here start researching medical facilities okay let's see if we can do that that's in our development oh yeah we can okay that's a three minute upgrade oh man that's easy peasy bro easy peasy where is the uh oh I don't have any one minute speed ups oh my goodness all right I guess we're not gonna speed it up we'll just let it rock all right and we finished chapter 20 two so as you can see I was basically rushing my city hall my castle and uh, you know I think that's given me a lot of you know progress in some of these later chapters already so we got to upgrade the depot to level eight and we'll do the sickle and sharp axe so okay we'll wait for that to finish that's so two minutes and boom there we go we've done that already so we're popping off here boys and we'll claim that now I'm curious to know if we can actually push oh we can heroic evolve oh so this is what I was talking about before with the um with my Phoenix skill I was able to upgrade summon firebird to flame firebird and now we can upgrade lightning chain to lightning storm which is going to be incredible so basically what it does is it does lightning damage to a large number of enemies and additionally cast thunder strike to the enemies hit by lightning so okay actual giga chad maneuver right there let's go ahead and see if we can pick it up here in this next stage and we'll see there it is dude there it is dude oh yo our single hits are actually incredible look at this Yo, you saw that 420 right there hey it's lit it's lit um let's refresh can we get there it is dude there it is i knew i'd get lucky with that all right so let's see um i've actually never refreshed that before i wonder if those come every time i'm able to upgrade oh no okay so i've used two of the three that i get for the entire stage already so that's unfortunate but it's okay we we're starting strong we have both of our purple upgrades and i think that you know from my experience and this is just anecdotal I could be completely wrong about this so don't take this as fact but it seems like you're slightly more likely to have things appear that you already own rather than new things um again I could be completely wrong about that it could just be completely RNG but like to me it seems like maybe it's just that I don't have that many skills unlocked yet maybe that that could be it um but either way uh we started really strong here I feel like we're, we're like we're on the right path to absolutely pop off look we got this stitches dude again oh one shot him oh I shouldn't have picked up that health potion to be honest with you because that probably I could have just let it sit there for a bit um let's do ground splitting sword as much as I think the dragon looks super cool and it's a very satisfying like epic maneuver um you don't get to really choose like the direction that it flies in and at least with the ground shattering thing like at least it'll be in a direction from my character and so it's we know that it'll hit something that could potentially be dangerous for me 
the dragon might just fly in a completely random direction and not really help us as much as we want that's a big boy over there but good thing we get to do another lightning storm upgrade and uh let's see what happens oh he vomits like some sort of plague juice that's disgusting um let's see if we can maybe not die to that that'd be sick if we could just not shoo that's a big old aoe that's a big old aoe um once he stops that's when i really gotta be careful that's oh oh dodged it i dodged it boy oh man oh god oh god i need more movement speed i think oh there we go all right we're gonna heal up that was good we are a third of the way done through the level pretty much so that was i feel like that was an early sort of mini boss spawn and look at that we just cleared that entire wave oh my god oh my god the aoe it's not even aoe really like this just the chain lightning just hits everything in a pack it's crazy brother it's crazy sorry it's not chain lightning out it's like chain chain thunder or something like that what, what was it called lightning storm that's what it is we're gonna max it out let's just max it out oh my god does it send two bolts through them now oh it does oh that's so good oh it's one-shotting everything like my my phoenix doesn't even have to do anything it's just chilling literally just chilling there it's the, what is it doesn't even matter you know what i mean so anyway let's uh let's finish this off we're about halfway done with this level this dude's fast but like look watch the dps watch the dps lightning bop oh you see we chunk them every time lightning comes off it, it chunks them all right let's collect all that we get an, another flame firebird upgrade and notice like i said before it seems like every time we get an upgrade it's something that we already own um the treasure chest was it was an exception there but um oh we got our first turret down which is nice uh, i don't love the turret it, i could be just maybe i'm not very good at planning where it goes but let's uh, let's upgrade it let's see what happens maybe we'll get lucky here maybe we'll get lucky uh and it looks like it's almost dead already yep it is so i guess the the idea with the turret would be you would want to have it kind of drop in like the middle of the battlefield that you can kind of circle around it right um and so i think like that was a probably a pretty good placement because i can i can kind of maneuver and like stay in its general direction if you drop it in like a corner it might not be that effective unless you really like pull all the mobs over there but as you can see like i pretty much cleared the whole board and so mobs were kind of coming from all directions and in that case i would say you probably want it near the center of the battlefield oh this roly-poly guy this roly-poly guy really thought oh yeah i need that big time i need that big time give me that please and uh all right we might as well just max out the cannon if we're gonna use it right why not why not let's max it out oh give me all of that thank you oh boy oh boy we got a thick one over here we got a gig a little, little giga chad let me just kill this golem dude come on over here golem boy come here golem boy oh you purple little golem boy oh let's get that we'll heal up a little bit thank you and these dudes are no match we are 82 percent of the way done here i want my turret to do a little bit more work than it's doing to be honest with you i feel like it's like look if people are just walking around it see this is why i don't like the turret that much they're just they're just they're just kind of ignoring it and it's like you know what's the point right probably could have uh i might have to use a reset on the next skill drop because i want to make sure i get something actually good rather than more turret although actually turrets max now so we're we're done um i actually don't like any of those and i guess we'll upgrade gal sword again i know i said earlier that it's better in the early part of the stage but at this point uh i just don't really love the other options that i have so yeah it is what it is we are oh we're done basically this is it right here we're done yes sir all right hard mode unlocked okay so uh yeah i think i'm actually good we'll, we'll stick to easy mode i think we'll we'll stick to easy mode for now but i'm sure you get better rewards from hard mode or perhaps you'll have to do it later down the line and that's it we finished chapter 23 um which is big news now we're on 24 and look at that we already have so much progress towards 24 this is amazing we can start to upgrade the blacksmith and the watchtower so let's start with the blacksmith my blacksmith is pretty under leveled it seems like but we got to finish off the depot first so there's that and then we need blacksmith to seven so we need two upgrades for this um and we can probably just speed this up it's only 17 minutes we probably have enough yeah we're, we're gucci we're gucci with that um we'll we'll speed this up as well just one tap bada bing bada boom um, ideally i would do these in a in a in an alliance where there's a bunch of people online at that exact moment but we need the sawmill um and in that in that regard obviously this would be easier because i'd have people online helping me be a little bit faster but right now i just want to get this done i want to i want to progress through this and we'll be on chapter 25. um oh look at that we made so much progress in 25 prior 
we'll start to do sturdy defense here um let's take a look here boom city defense boom there it is oh that's so that's so free that's so free we're done easy and that is going to do it ladies and gentlemen for chapter 25 instantly on a 26 we're cruising we are cruising i feel like we're making we're making so much progress right now um any artifacts at level two okay i can do that i've got an artifact let's go to the array let's go here we will uh i guess we want to fortify it and we'll upgrade that and boom we are level two now so what does that get us oh it's 4.2 hp boost okay so it's just a little bit stronger that makes complete sense to me and we'll slay a level eight monster and then uh from there i think we might actually start attacking some players to be honest with you i think we might stir up uh stir the pot a little bit let's see what we can do about that okay let's claim these while we're walking towards that ogre and uh, after that it'll all be ogre basically so boom we got that all these quests are being completed we're getting things done we're doing what we have to do and i feel really good about that so uh yeah this is my my lord we still got a bunch of hours left before we get our free resources so that's unfortunate but let's take a look where are we going there's my dragon bro look at my dragon look at that dude look at that dude he's a big boy huh all right we're approaching the big all ogre look at this massive like dragon bones over here or dinosaur bones like the world is actually quite cool and we're swarming him we're swarming him and there he is he's dead instantly look at me oh we got jester party progress love that let's take a look at the battle here and uh once again completely outnumbering the ogre and uh if i if i do say so myself it does look like it is all ogre for him <laughs> oh man i'm very funny i'm so funny dude it's crazy so anyway look at this we got free gems for that look every look, first kill reward they always give you free gems it's awesome oh let's use these uh soldier cards too it's gonna give us more more like literal units it just gives you units like yes please we'll use that as well and um we'll max this out too this is we don't need to do that yet but what else do we have in here we got those fragments oh we can progress more through valhalla's core here so that's good oh we can claim this love that but yeah look at these gem packs i mean like boom 85 gems for free you'll love to see it okay so I am right next to the Alliance Castle here this player's already on fire so I feel like I don't need to attack them but like some of these dudes like what are they doing on our land right like this level this Lord here like what do you what, what what's that I don't know if that's an if that's someone that we're allied with but I think what we should do is first of all we're gonna hit this dude for sure bro actually let's scout and see what he's got it'll detect his army so it'll take 16 seconds to scout but actually while that's going i'm gonna upgrade some of my military tech and let's heal up the units after fighting that ogre because that we want every unit available for the actual fighting because we're going to be fighting an actual player now so um where can i get some march speed is it possible to get some march speed horse shoes yes dude that is exactly what we wanted thank you very much we will one tap upgrade that and what is this max soldiers and marching army first of all you know what let's just let's just we need more march speed boys okay we got march speed to five let's go ahead and upgrade some of our capacity like literal capacity for our army i think that's going to be really good we'll speed this up it's just a couple minutes of speed ups here not a big deal let's go ahead and one tap that one boom 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 all right we should be we should be Gucci here and our next quest that just gave us a bunch of shards for that artifact I wonder if that's going to help us in PvP I bet you it will I bet you it will all right let's look at the scout report and we see he's got some resources some stuff not harvested and I don't see any units am I mistaken does he just not have units let's go ahead and take a look in his city by sending an actual army there and seeing if we can just just wipe this dude just wipe him off the map brother so we've already scouted him let's go ahead and attack this player we got 40 seconds on the clock so we're gonna march and see if we can steal those resources because that's gonna be actually pretty big if i'm being honest with you guys um you can see the resources i have on the top here we're running super low on wood i don't know what it is that i'm doing that i'm using way more wood than food you can see i have like three million uh food but dude look at my look at the gang look at the literal squadron bro look at this the army i'm gonna keep it a buck bro the army itself 
like you say what you want about the graphic style but like you can see the units more clearly in this game than you can in most other city builder games i'm just gonna keep it real with you i'm gonna keep it real with you okay so let's go ahead and kill this dude we'll see what's going on we're about to pop off we're gonna see what goes down we're swarming them we're swarming them and instant burn baby instant burn let's look at the video replay oh he picked the panda oh he's a goofball he picked a fatty old panda brother watch this watch my dragon yo we murdered that dude okay so i got some beast experience from that and uh, my plunder was seven thousand of each resource which wasn't that much he must be protecting um his his resources so that's that yeah i guess the resource is saved that must be the resources that that are protected by his depot so there we go let's get our troops back from war we've conquered another castle so here we get some more resources and gems and lord experience just for killing that player so that feels good i think i'm gonna hit this dude let me scout him i'm real close to him um he is in an alliance but i'm curious to know if um perhaps it'll still be worth it to kill him if we're being if we're being blunt look at my look at my scout go he's just on foot he's running he's like look we're so close we're neighbors i might as well just run in there just run up on him you know what i'm saying so he pops in there let's see what he's got here we've got some not harvested so more than the other dude but still lots saved it doesn't tell me his troops i probably have to level up my scout more but you know what screw it let's just attack this player let's just attack him dude honestly like why not we're right here let's just look at my look at the squad we have just so many units there's no way he has that many units and we're a higher city level like there's just no way there's no way let's see what happens let's see how this goes um we are going to swarm him in just a second and um the alliance is aware that i am literally just killing people for funsies they probably don't approve of me just going rogue and doing whatever i want but uh it is what it is we've got the dragon outside the city and here it is oh he's just got a panda he's got literally zero units that that makes complete sense all right so we gained some more beast experience and we did plunder some uh resources which you will see right here we got some nice uh nice old resources so there we go this dude pretty much didn't put up a fight at all to be honest with you all right there's a couple of players in this alliance called leg and uh i'm wondering if i can kind of just teleport in there and just start killing them is that going to be possible can i do that like is their leader online i bet you that's their leader because he's got a really cool city skin i'm thinking i could probably just kind of come on over here and just start killing everyone i'm trying to think of where would a good spot b like can i just like can i just teleport like right here oh i can't that mountain range kind of ruins it huh oh man i could go right next to the leader and start killing everyone else though no i'm gonna come over here i'm gonna go here boom let's hit this dude there's no time to scout there's no time to scout we're just gonna start killing them we're just gonna go rogue i mean we're going rogue i mean I, i'm just attacking this other alliance it's fine these guys are a low level they probably won't care right like who, i mean it is what it is while we're doing this let's actually uh scout this other dude because he's gonna be our next target so we'll two birds one stone this while we're hitting that guy we probably should have hit the weaker guy and scouted the stronger guy but it's probably fine you successfully attacked looted and looted tons of resources let's go that's actually that's actually really big that's actually really big um battle report let's take a look at the replay here he actually had the dragon and barely any units so that was free look at that that was actually a lot of resources thank you let's look at the scout report from the other dude he's got barely anything but i'm gonna hit him anyway because i'm i'm mean um actually it's probably not even worth hitting him is it i mean we might as well let's just do it this is 19 seconds it's fine we'll hit him we'll hit him we'll pop off real quick no big deal no big deal we're gonna pop off on him and we got the burn baby did he have any units uh probably not yeah zero power loss yeah nothing nothing too crazy there so we don't even care about that we don't even care about that let's have our army come on back come on back real quick and we're gonna go ahead and attack this level 10 player um i don't know if i should be doing this but it's probably fine what's this arrow is this something i should be concerned with this elite farmstead qaa i don't think i should be worried about that but but maybe i should be maybe i should kill that guy on the way back what do you say maybe if our army comes back in time oh did i die oh what's going on what's happening there's a big old battle heal big big old skirmish oh we got him boys we got him oh jesus christ ladies and gentlemen oh let's see how this happened what happened here why did his city like explode he didn't even have a where's my beast where's my beast is he out of like stamina what's going on hold up hold up real quick real quick we're burning our, we're burning everybody we're burning everybody uh let me get those thank you um actually we're gonna recruit more infantry as well and then uh is my hospital like what's going on here that's fine what about my beast 
is he good conquer five castles let's go eliminate five thousand soldiers we are on a killing spree right now and it feels pretty good all right let's see this this dude is he still walking where'd that dude go am i gonna be able to catch him or nah oh nah for sure not oh he's going he's cruising bro he's cruising where's his city at actually where's his city at oh it's right here oh he's a higher level than me i won't attack him that might actually be uh that might be detrimental to my own my own progress here so anyway um let's attack this level seven this is another leg guy we're just going we're just going to kill some of these lego lego losses and uh it's going to be lit it's going to be lit is my dragon here he's not okay my dragon is not here so I'm wondering what is the deal with my dragon um why is he not joining me on these battles am I not clicking the right button that could be it I could be just not clicking the right button but anyway I don't think I'm gonna need him to take this dude out to be honest with you guys because it's just I mean watch this ready ready bop oh he's burning he's on fire easy peasy and we got 50k food and almost 10k wood that's pretty good look at that we're up to a million wood already it's actually kind of lit oh beast vigor that's what it is my beast vigor how can I get more beast vigor yeah beast vigor automatically recovers over time that's a bummer but I mean let's be real here we got a bunch of little bonfires going on with uh with the beast that we did use so look we got plus we got the, what this dude and this dude we killed all of them so honestly I'm feeling pretty good about this uh I'm gonna teleport right back over here this is where I was before I just don't want to be in the territory of of the bad guys so oh we can spin the jester party let's actually do that real quick what do we get from this we got 1 million food okay I mean I'll take it that's literally free oh and we got a golden dice for journey of miracles let's let's oh actually how many spaces do we want one two three four five six seven let's do five let's see one two three four five when you next land on a reward square your reward is multiplied Ooh. so what do we get for the last dice roll here it's gonna double the rewards and we get double uh speed ups hey cool again that was free all we had to do was kill this big old ogre boy look at us killing this big old ogre boy oh man he thought bro he thought he could let he it's all ogre for you it's all ogre for you sorry pal hey gg anyway guys i think that's gonna do it for today in war and order i feel like we did what we had to do we got some things done we made some really good progress on the king's road chapters we also burned like five player cities and i suspect this won't be the last time i think we killed a lot of that alliance and those guys might come back online and hit me back so we'll see what happens but anyway guys i want to remind you to download war and order for free it's in the link down below downloading the game with my link helps support my channel absolutely at no cost to you without generous sponsors like war in order I wouldn't be able to do what I do here on YouTube so if you enjoy the content give the game a try it's honestly really beautiful and some of these super interesting and unique game modes like the roguelike and things like that definitely worth trying especially because it's free why not right and while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other players might see it comment down below what you think of war in order have you tried it already are you going to try it let me know down there and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I upload a war in order video with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omni Arc. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.